Okay, let's get started 3D modeling in Onshape. It's really easy to do. The first thing I'm going to do is log in, and I have done that, as you can see. I'm going to create a folder to put all my stuff in. And you'll notice it shows up in my window right here. Here's the folder that I just created just for these projects that we're going to do today. So if I click on that folder, I see that there's nothing in here. Let's create a document, which is going to be a part file. And I'm going to name this one Ratchet. And we're going to make this thing called Ratchet. The thing to understand about 3D modeling in any software is that it's a process. You have to sketch geometry, constrain geometry, add or remove material and then add treatments to the material. So that's the process. And you just do this over and over until your part is finished. So we're gonna start with a sketch, okay? And we can sketch on the front, the top, or the right side. It doesn't matter what we're going to do, but let's do this. It gets kind of confusing. So I'm going to turn off, I'm gonna hide the top, and I'm gonna hide the right and only draw on the front. That way I don't get confused. I'm gonna make a sketch. And I'm going to put my sketch on my front plane. I have to click on the plane, so here's my sketch on my plane. Now I have to add some stuff to it. So if you take a look at the part called Ratchet in the, on the screen, we have all the dimensions. And when we look at the dimensions of this, it seems kind of weird, doesn't it? It's all whole numbers, and they're rather large numbers. Um, that's because it says on the note there, all of these dimensions are in millimeters. So let's do this. Let's go up to the document menu, go down to workspace units, and make sure that our default length before we start working is in millimeters. Click the green check, and we're good to go again, except notice my sketch disappeared. That's because I got out of my sketch to make changes. So to get back into the sketch, I can right click on it and say edit, and I'm back into my sketch. So. Here we go, my sketch. I take a look at that, that ratchet part. I am going to make a circle, and I'm going to start on the center. Don't have to. And I'm just going to click a random length. Notice that the dimension itself, right there, um, is in a box, and it's white. All I have to do is choose the dimension that I want that to be. And if I look at my dimension drawing, that's a diameter of 40. So I can just type 40 and hit the Enter key, and it makes it so that it's 40. Okay, notice that's considered a constraint that that telling it what to be the size to be is called a constraint. All right, so there's my circle. I've got my circle. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to say I'm done with my sketch. Now let's go to part three where we add or remove material. I'm going to click on extrude and I'm going to click on my face of my circle and notice I can pull it and I can push it and I can make it whatever I want, but that's not really accurate. What I can really do, the best way to make it accurate is to come up here and tell it what depth I want it to be. And if I look at my dimension drawing, I see that that needs to be 30 millimeters. So I type in 30, hit enter, okay? And so there's my circle so far. That's the bottom half of this part. So let's add the rectangle on top of it as well. So once I'm done with that, be done, say uh, end. Do I want to do any holes, fillets, or chamfers yet? And the answer is no. So I'm going to go right back to step number one and sketch some more geometry. I'm going to click on sketch, click on the face that I want to sketch on. And once I'm on that face, I can put in what I want to sketch. I want to make a, a rectangle, but if I click on the carrot next to it, I can make a corner rectangle or I can make a center point rectangle. If I click on center point rectangle, it will allow me to automatically pick the center of my circle, right? And then I don't have to constrain where it is on my circle. It makes it a lot easier. So I can click anywhere, and you see how that turns white? And again, all I have to do now is type in the dimensions that I want. If I look at that square, that square is 10 units by 10 units. And I hit 10, say enter, 10, enter. And it's perfectly centered on there. So those are the only dimensions I need to know. Now what I'm going to do, I'm done with my sketch. I've constrained it. It's centered. I have the sizes on it. Click green check mark. OK. Now let's do add or remove. And we're going to extrude again. And we're, this time we're going to add. I choose it. And I tell it how far out I want it to go. And if I look at my dimension drawing, 
I see that I want this to be 15 millimeters out. So I'm going to type in 15 and hit enter. So there it is so far. Uh, right click allows me to rotate around and see my part. And I can zoom in using my mouse wheel. So there's my second extrude. So my part's almost done. The only difference now is I have to do some treatments because if you look at the drawing, there looks like there's a fillet and a chamfer. So now that I'm done, I'm going to take my front. That's kind of in the way. I'm going to hide my front plane. So now it's just my part. So I've got my part. So there is a fillet and I go up to my fillet tool, which is here. And there's a fillet with a radius of five right here and right here and I go all the way around and I choose the line where I want the fillet to be and once I'm done with that I can click the green checkbox awesome now the only other thing I have left to do is to put something on the bottom there that something is called a chamfer we're gonna use the chamfer tool up here and that chamfer has to go on this edge. Let's check the dimensions and make sure it's correct. It has to be 30 degrees and it has to be five units. So five millimeters, it's equidistant. We're good to go. We say green check. Let's take a look at the side view of it. And our part's all done. So again, we have to follow your 3D modeling process. Always sketch, then constrain, then extrude by add or remove. Um, then you can do treatments, holes, fillets, or chamfers. You do it in that order, and you continue on until your part's done, and you'll have a finished part.